What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jane C. Back with another one. Uh, man. If you can't tell by the title, this is a story time. And I don't know if you guys watched my last, last couple of videos in the last year or so. But I spoke about this one situation I had with these two females. You know. And I never, I never was open to talk about it. I never, I just never open to talk about it. But now, today is the day when I told the truth. So you can't tell by the title. It's just, it's the, it, we title this. Well, I'll title it. Just look, listen. I got my dick stuck by two women. <laughs> and I know, I know some of y'all probably be like, what? Dang, you got two hoes suck your dick? Yes, my nigga. Let me light, hell, let me light my joint. I got a joint behind my ear. And yes, the hair is on curls. The, the hair is on curls. And the tattoos are on sexy and very sexy. Mean and sexy. Yeah. Let me look shit up. We'll go to the main zone. So, here's about the title. This is a story time. You can't tell by now. It's not a vlog. It's a story time. But I got two bitches suck my dick when I was at work. That's a joint. So, if some of y'all don't know, I live in Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. They know it's Highland Hills. And uh I I have worked, I have I've had a few jobs. You guys don't know. But I worked at this job called Pilot once. I got if you take my old videos, you've seen that in my vlogs. I used to work at a company for a company called Pilot. And one time, well this, let's just say I'm telling you about my job. What I had to do my job was I did maintenance, and I had to take out trash, sweep my floors, clean showers, clean bathrooms, and wash clothes. So, I got paid $11 an hour, and I got paid once a week. So, I was bringing home about $400 a week. I was working about 38 39 $40 hours a week. A week. So, I bring home about $30, $400 a week. Every week. I got paid every week. Plus my check that I get, you don't know how I get a check to. So I was doing my job. I had been working there about like a month or two. I was doing my job. It was like I got off work every night at twelve, and I was just doing my job. I was folding up clothes, it was getting late, it was getting slow at night. Doing my job, folding up clothes, washing clothes, getting ready to go home at twelve. So I'm back there. And remember this, this story talking about I got to be suck my winner. <laughs> So I'm just folding up clothes. I had a, I, you know, you don't know, I like, I like music. So when I was at work, I had my speaker on me because I worked by myself. I didn't have to work with nobody. I worked by myself. I did maintenance. So I'm back there folding up clothes, playing my music. Here comes this little sexy, little short, little dark skin chick. Ah, I'm, she dancing with me. Hey, hey. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm really looking like, hey, what's really going on? She, hey, hey, hey. Shit. So I was, I was telling these out. Here come another chick behind her. So I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? So, the little dark skin chick, she was like, you know, trying to speak the game on me. Like, I don't mean to bother you, you know, whatever, but, you know, we're trying to get a shower. That's what they want. They want to take a shower. Man, I told you, my job. I took out trash, cleaned the showers, you know, cleaned the bathroom. I also dump oil. I worked for a company that did with truckers. I worked, I worked, I drove over to a truck stop where truckers come. Probably is a truck stop. So they have showers. My job was to, I was cleaning the showers. I was in charge of showers, keeping them clean for when the truckers come. You know, and they, they, they paid money to take a shower. I was also washing clothes, washing towels. So when they take a shower, I, I really wash a bunch of towels. When they take showers, 
got to towels to dry and you know wash their face you now. And sometimes they'll, they'll leave me tips. You know, in the shower, if, I, if they felt comfortable enough and they had enough money in a good mood, they'll leave me tips, like three or four dollars, maybe sometimes five dollars. And so, and so when I didn't get my check, I I, I might make five or ten dollars every day at work off just off tips, washing showers, maybe ten. You know what I'm saying? So, but these girls, they want a shower. Let me let me, let me join up. They want a shower, bro. And apparently, well. I didn't know that, but they were prostitutes. Well, the the girl that in a, that I seen the first initial that initially I seen she was a prostitute, and the other girl she wasn't a prostitute. And the woman, the one I met, she was she was short, dark skin, she had, she was very beautiful, and she was young. And the older one, she was older, and she had like she was like my skin color. She had long, pretty hair. And she was old, and she was prettier, even prettier than her. She was older than her. I thought it was really unique. She was older than her, but she was even prettier than young. One. So they were like, we just want to get a shower, you know. I'm gonna bother you, and I, 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 I was like, I, I was like, I don't, I, I was like, I don't know, because I had been working there for like a month or two. And I was already getting trouble with my job already. I was like, man, I don't know if I can do that because I give you a shower and you don't pay for it. I might get fired. You know what I'm saying, you know, and I was already in trouble with my job. And then they be, I, knew, I knew they was watching me. I knew I would have gave them a shower when they been watching me. They, this gonna be the I'm gonna get fired, and I got fired from Circle K for doing for stealing beer before. So I didn't want to get fired from. I'm making four hundred dollars a week. You know what I'm saying I need this job. So I was really like, nah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. So eventually, I said, all right, y'all get out this out this cabin. Y'all come in the shower. Let's talk. So I took both the girls in the shower. We just she trying to negotiate with me, you know. Let's do that. Now, in the back of my mind, I knew what she wanted and I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how I was gonna execute. I mean, the older chick, she was like when she said older chick, she was prettier than her, but she was older than her. And the other girl, she was pretty, but and she was dark skinned, but the older she was way even prettier. But she wasn't prostitute. The young girl was prostitute, but they was trying to make the, the story was. They were trying, the, the young girl found her in a situation where she was they, a pimp trying to turn her to a prostitute, and she saved her from being, being a prostitute. And she just came to probably take a shower. You know? But the other girl, she was already a prostitute. But she saved her from being a prostitute. Some dude was trying to pimp her, turn her to a prostitute. And she was on the street. I guess she was homeless or something. So she said, I'm being a prostitute. And they came to me like, we just want to get a shower. You know what I'm saying? And I was in charge of the showers. You know, I got up at 12. So when I go home, no one's there no more. I, they leave me in charge at night. You know, so, so, I remember the older chick, it was so, she said, she said, I was, cause I was like, I don't worry about getting fired. She, I mean, she said, all right, Jane, if you get fired for this, doing this, tomorrow we'll all sit down and have a drink. I, she said that like twice. I was like, she's like, if you get fired for giving us a shower, Tomorrow, we'll also sit down and have a drink. I was like, okay. So I remember the, the young chick went outside looking for her phone. She's like, my phone in the, about the truckers and shit, you know. And I'm, talking, I'm talking to the old chick. So finally, after the young girl go outside and look for her phone, come back inside, I said, all right, fuck it. Y'all can have a show. Y'all can have a shot. But I said, you gonna suck my dick. I was talking to the little prostitute. The little dick. I just fought it. The little younger. I said, but you gonna suck my dick. So, and she was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Because she was doing all the talking like she wanted. Like she was doing all the talking. So I said, you gonna suck my dick for the shower. I knew what I wanted. I said, I knew what I wanted. And they knew what they wanted. They wanted a shower. I wanted my dick set. You know what I'm saying? So I remember standing there. I mean, I, I'm a little jumpsuit on. Now I zipped it down, just all the way down. And you know how a woman, you know how a woman, uh, before she suck your dick, she'll smell it or like taste it a little bit to see if it's like a little salty where you ain't cleaned it. That was a girl that she, she pulled my dick out and the little prostitute shit, she pulled it and smelled it. And she was like, I remember the other girl said, she said, girl, give me that. She, she, she looked at me and I said, girl, give me that dick. Let me suck it. And she sucked. The other girl sucked. She just started sucking my dick. I was, she, I was sitting there. She was sucking my dick. I ain't, I ain't know she was going to do that. 
and saying she was just sucking my dick. And they wanted that shower. And let me show them like five or six, maybe five or six, seven minutes sucking my dick. And she said, and she said, girl, now you suck it. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, all right. <laughs> like uh, she sucked my dick. Like and then she sucked my dick. So the second, the young girl sucked my dick so good. I nutted. And like she sucked my dick like five. I just nutted quick. I I just nutted all up like on the ground. Do my jumpsuit. I'm saying I remember and I. I, mean, I was like, well, I, I was like, all right, <laughs> y'all can have a shower. You know, I mean, I'm about to die. I was not. I mean, all right, y'all can have a shower. Like, oh God, I die, I die. <laughs> oh, y'all can have a shower. <laughs> and I, I, it was crazy because, for one, I got my dick sucked by two girls. Then, out at work, out at work, get my dick sucked by two girls. I could have got fired for this shit, bro. I could have got fired for this shit for real. Now I'm at work, get my dick sucked, and then they even pay for the shower. They, I'm doing something illegal. I ain't even let them get a shower. They want to pay for a shower. I got these two bitches in the shower sucking my dick while I'm at work. <laughs> like, oh God, you know? I remember that shit. I remember that shit like strong because it was a Sunday. I don't know. I was off on, on Monday and Tuesday. I was like, and on that Sunday, I was thinking, man, when I go home, I'm going to drink a beer, watch some porn, be, be my meat. Like, I'm going to go bust a nut. I mean, I'm going to be my meat and bust a nut. And that, that same day, I'm going to dick suck by two bitches. Nigga, at work. Nigga, on the clock. Nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, like, I was, I never told that story because I, at the time, I was working there when that happened. Now, I was still doing, doing YouTube videos. You can go back and I said, I mentioned that. I was still didn't use, and I didn't want them to know that I had did that at work. I was saying I was definitely gonna get fired. But I ended up quitting pilot. Uh, I just at eventually I quit after like three, maybe three or four months. I quit and I left pilot. But I didn't get fired. I quit. But uh, yeah, I still think about that. I got my dick sucked by two bitches. I'm saying a lot of niggas get they don't ever get their dick sucked by two bitches. And I was at work. Get my dick sucked by two bitches. Yeah. I don't talk about that very much because I don't want everybody to know my goddamn business. I'm a grown ass man and what my business ain't your business. You know what I'm but yeah. Yeah, I, I've done things and I ain't perfect. So yeah, this is my story time, my video about how I got my dick sucked by two females. And I was at work. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, bruh, my little story time, give me a like, bruh. Give me a like. It'll help my channel. It'll help my channel a lot. You never seen one of my videos. You never heard about a nigga that got this somebody two bitches at work like me. Subscribe. I got more story time coming for y'all out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you already know at the end, at the end of every video. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a high legend. Uh, that way, yeah. <laughs>